Hello YouTube, and welcome back to a time-lapse painting by me, Ariana, and um, this little painting is called When I Found You, um, and I also want to talk about making mistakes. So, I made a mistake when I painted this painting. I painted it in, with the intent to submit it to a gallery in Portland, Oregon, and um, they had an open call, and I read the what they were looking for. They wanted um, fairies, or, or like something enchanting, and um, I don't know, wanted it to be about finding things, and I racked my brain. convention that I was going to do completely on my own, um, Kelowna Comic Con, and uh, I was trying to make sure I had every, all my little ducks in order, and I uh, didn't make the effort <laughs> to even Google this gallery. some forth up there, so that was good. I regret not turning on my camera for um, a big painting that I did uh, of Jareth from the labyrinth uh, with his magical crystal ball. I just didn't, I don't know why, I didn't think of even turning on the camera. I was so focused on the project, but um, again, I'm sick. And, uh, this painting, I like the concept, but as soon as I got done, I had the sinking feeling like this painting was something that was just really more for me, or a thought I had that I couldn't get out of my mind, and I was doing it just, you know, when you have an idea, and you don't care what you should be doing, you care more about getting that idea out on the page or the on the panel or whatever it is, and you just have to get that idea out, and it's the most important thing at that moment, well that's really what this painting was for me at that moment, and I was so tired, I just I couldn't even function, I was just really exhausted. So, I did this painting and then afterward I took a moment and googled the gallery. So I think it was to find an email or something like that. And I took one look at, at what the painting were and I was like, they're going to reject this painting. And sure enough, they were very gracious, but they said, you know, it just didn't fit with the rest of the collection. And we're really sorry, we hope you submit again. And it's been to myself, I totally would have been into doing something magical and fairy tale like and I would have enjoyed it, but for whatever reason, I didn't take the moment to Google and my, it was a silly mistake, but it's a mistake I made. And you see this so often when people are applying to galleries. 
sometimes work ethic is, is a wonderful thing, but it's a, a thing that needs to be harnessed with a certain amount of wisdom. And that's one area that I see myself working because I love to do projects. You know, I get I get angry at my body for wanting to sleep. I just don't understand. Why do you have to be like this body? Yes, we need to make happen, and um, and if you're like that, um, I hope you take this painting as a cautionary tale of what could happen to you. You could be very much like me, and and now have a very nicely framed, very um, I feel very accomplished in this piece, uh, and it's little, um, but you could have this piece and always look at it and think. Well, you could have thought for five minutes more, but you didn't, so there you are. <laughs> and I guess that's, it. in a way, it has a lot to do with what the piece is about, is like not really thinking about biting into that, that forbidden fruit, but just kind of going for it and not really thinking about consequences. So, in a weird way, I, uh, I failed the meaning of this painting. But I had a lot of fun at the convention. I met a lot of great people. It was a wonderful experience. Um, I I made another a new mistake actually. I did um, some digital self portraits of my iPad, which I really enjoyed. Uh, however, uh, I did a portrait of a girl with this Griffin head costume, and I got her email. But email did not work, and I have been searching the internet for her <laughs> ever since. So if you um, were at Kelowna Comic Con and know this person, please just visit my Facebook page and um, or message me or Instagram me or whatever, and hopefully one day I can track her down and give her her portrait. So there was a couple of conundrums there. <laughs> I made a list, and I should have um, think back now what I've learned from this experience. Always Google galleries that you're speaking to, and um, and B always do a confirmation email with a customer before they leave. To little tips. I hope you can gain from my foolish foolishness and, um, and be a smarter person in your endeavors. So if you have any interest in this piece, I would love for it to be adopted. I am in a small space and I would love for this to be on display somewhere in somebody's home. Someone who loves it. So if you are interested, you can contact me, and uh, eventually I'll get around to putting it in my Etsy shop. And you can go to my Etsy shop and also find prints and a few originals. I'll be putting more of my originals on there in the near future. I just have to find more time and get on that. You can really get on the Etsy train. a lot more memorable than my name, and um, so you can find me there, and you can find me on my Facebook page, and um, I'm selling Prince of Jareth as well, for those who are anticipating it, um, a very limited print of 20 uh, are, are for sale, so uh, I would love it to... Um, I could just sell all of those because uh, then it enables me to uh, do more big pieces and um, and I, I always employ a photographer to do my photos and uh, yeah so it's a nice kind of community of artists to work together and so you're not just supporting me, you're supporting him as well and he's amazing so if you, could, if you are interested in his photography work his name is um, Gord Wiley uh, he's also a local Okanagan uh, artist, photographer and he does a lot of work in the area so very very good photographer um, and if you have 
have any mistakes that you have made, uh, whether they be related to art or not, please comment below with your experiences. And I will get back to you all soon, hopefully, sooner than later. I need to do more practical painting. I haven't been as much as I should be, but you can catch a lot of my digital illustration 